continue celebrating Independence Day. Officials are warning people to drink responsibly. The National Safety Council predicts 600 people will die in a crash during the July 4th holiday period. News for Jack's reporter Amanda DeVoe spoke with a former law enforcement officer and defensive driving instructor on how to remain safe during the holiday. The 4th of July is typically full of celebrations, but officials say it can take a dangerous turn if alcohol is involved. The worst thing I've seen is the fatalities on the roadway due to drunk driving. Ben McCorkle is a defensive driving instructor with the Northeast Florida Safety Council and a former sheriff's deputy. He says a deadly crash can happen in a matter of seconds, and it's important to look for the signs of a drunk driver. Not using turn signals, erratic braking, running red lights, stopping way short of the intersection at a stop sign or red light. Actually, any violation of a traffic uh, violation, that's probably cause for law enforcement to pull you over in the first place. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 538 people died in crashes over the July 4th holiday period in 2021. 39% of those deadly crashes involved someone who was driving drunk. McCorkle says that's why it's extremely important to remain alert on the roads and practice defensive driving no matter the time of day. Driving under influence is not just nighttime offense. People does it during the daytime as well, especially during the holidays. People don't understand when they're, they're drinking how it makes them feel. They get out here to eat, they get to uh, talking. Uh, don't, they don't pay attention to how much they've already had. He says to give yourself enough distance from a person you suspect may be driving drunk and contact authorities. He also has a message for anyone considering drinking and driving. If you can't get a ride and you drive and drink and you're pulled over by law enforcement, they'll give you a ride. They'll give you a ride to jail. And that's some place you don't want to go to. Amanda DeVoe, Channel 4, the local station. And here's a potential solution for you. If you need a ride, don't forget that AAA is offering its tow-to-go service through 6 a.m. tomorrow. You call 855-2-TOW-2-GO, tow-to-go, and that's on your screen right there. A driver will uh, take you and your vehicle to a safe location within a 10-mile radius for free. Since the program started, it's helped 25,000 impaired people from getting on the road.